Good morning, all of you. So, dear students, today I am going to teach you about accountancy. Introduction to accountancy. Now, what is accountancy? What is accountancy? What is what is accountancy? Accountancy contains a word account, and account means to keep a record of something. To keep a record of something, it contains a word. account now account means to keep record of something now whose record we are going to keep when we are studying accountancy in the field of commerce right accountancy in personal life if you want to keep record of your finances you will be accounting for your personal finances but then here we are going to study accountancy in relation to business in relation to business so here accountancy is related with business an idea you got that accountancy is something which is related to business now i am not going into those definitions that are given in the book i am willing to explain to you in a very practical way in a very in a way in which you can appreciate not the theoretical but the practical aspect so see accountancy is related with business now you tell me why is business done can any one among you stand up and tell me that why business is done yeah tell me stand up business is done to earn profit very good wonderful sit down so we all know that business is done for profit business is done for profit why is business done why is business done so the obvious answer is business is done for profit but then you know my second question my next question how will a businessman discover or ascertain how will a businessman discover that he or she is earning profit or incurring losses he or she will is earning profit or <coughs> incurring losses this is an important question so how will a businessman will know now it is very easy it is very easy to understand for a businessman that how he is going to earn profit what he does or before understanding what he does little bit analyzing what profit is all about so what you think is profit what is profit what is profit what you know about profit so i'm sure that when you were in school standard 5th or 6th you might have studied in mathematics that profit is excess of income over expenses and all those wonderful words sp cp isn't it so it is the income which is more than the expense which will give you profit if the income is more or if it is opposite to it you will be having losses so for example if a businessman buys 
a pen in 10 rupees then how much will he be selling it i am sure he will not be willing to sell it anywhere less than 10 rupees so if he is able to manage to manage it 13 rupees so how much is the profit 3 rupees right 3 rupees so here we discovered profit is equal to rupees 3 when you will be studying the theories about business you will uh, read one point that an isolated transaction is not a business a single such dealing which you do is not a business in business there has to be a regularity in you know dealing in the same thing there has to be regularity so a businessman will regularly do the same thing he'll keep on buying selling buying selling on a regular basis so what he need to do if he needs to understand that whether he is having profit or he is incurring losses if he want to know his true position he cannot keep everything in his mind it is impossible he cannot keep everything in his mind and you know even government says that businessmen you have to pay taxes and taxes on profit that you earn within one year so businessman needs to know that he is having profit or incurring losses he is having profit or incurring losses okay for each one year so then you know it is the comparison what he will do in one year so for this businessman has to do one thing businessman has to record everything that is happening in his business which is related to which is related to money which can be measured in terms of money and then he will have to segregate he will have to separate it that what transactions were related with income what transactions were related with expenses and then the end result will be comparing them so then you know it's an entire process and accountancy helps us to do it in a very easy way and accountancy has brought out a process accountancy has brought out a process for the businessman to track that what is his progress where the business is all about so there is an entire process and that process we have to study in accountancy which makes it easier now see let me write this and write down what is that process if a businessman needs to know now the process is record of record of transactions record of transactions that takes place in one financial year now from those transactions now what is a transaction we'll come to these things a simple thing now the businessman he bought pen he may be a, a you know stationary dealer so buying something for selling so we call it purchase goods purchase goods you know these things so after record of transaction he has to make a journal after journal ledger after ledger trial balance after trial balance it is trading account after trading account it is profit and loss account and after preparing profit and loss account the businessman needs to prepare a balance so dear students this process is known as accounting process or accounting cycle so this is known as your accounting process this also is referred to as accounting
cycle. Now, if the accounts are prepared, means if things are recorded first, whatever is happening. Now, with the help of that, there is a technical word, journal. Businessmen, they will prepare journal. From journal, the accountant will prepare ledger. From ledger, trial balance. From trial balance, trading, PL and balance sheet. So, when the accountant uh, will reach at this point, profit and loss account. So, this profit and loss account will explain that what was his business activity, what all things he did, what were the expenses, what were the income and will give out final position in way of profit or loss. So this is what is seeked by any accountant, any businessman. So in today's class, what we learned is that accountancy is, you know, it's a series of processes. It's series and it begins with record of transaction, journal, ledger, trial balance, trading, PL and balance sheet. So it's enough for today's class. Thank you all of you. Okay. Thank you all of you.